Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to activate your invoice from order forms. This is really useful when you want to have users receive that invoice in their email. So let me show you how this is accomplished right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form. So what we're going to do is go into create a form. We're going to start from scratch and we're going to use the classic form for this demo purpose. Now that our builder is open, let's drag in the elements that we're going to need for our order form. So in this case, let's go into add elements. We're going to choose full name. We're going to add our payment element for this demo purpose. We're going to add PayPal personal, but you can use your preferred payment gateway. And last, we're going to add the email address. But if you need to add other fields, go ahead and add them to your order form. Now let's set up our first product. Let's connect our PayPal account. In this case, we're just going to add PayPal for demo purposes. We're going to use that email. We're going to continue and let's add our first product. So let's go to create a product and we're going to call this tablet. All right. And the price for this will be zero. We're going to make it free for demo purposes. Description, we're going to say 15 inch tablet. All right. And let's select one of the images. We can upload our image. We can select one of the ones we have already, or we can use a URL to grab the image. So in this case, we'll add this tablet image. We can auto scale it. We can make it required. So maybe that's the only product you have because so you want to make it required or the whole purpose of this form is to sell products. So you want to keep it required. Let's go ahead and save it. Okay. Let's go ahead and click and show. And next we're going to activate the most important part, the invoice. So in our settings, we're going to go into invoice. We're going to enable it and we're going to set up the information that we need for our business. So in this case, our business, we're going to call it jot form, the email that we're going to use. We're just going to say jot form com phone number. We're just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to say USA for the address and notes. We can say, I don't know, 30 day refund policy. Okay. Set the E there. Let's choose the image for our logo. So let's upload the image. Let's grab the image right here. We're going to add that and we're going to select attached to emails. Yes, we want the invoice to be attached as a PDF. If you want to disable it, you can turn it off or we can leave it on and we can designate who we want to send this PDF to, to notification email or the autoresponder or both of them. In this case, we'll leave it on both and we do we want to generate an invoice number. In this case, we're going to say yes, we're going to add a unique invoice number and there's a new element added to your form. So if you check here, we have the invoice ID and we have the settings for this one. So in the settings, we can edit the prefix. What does that mean? That every time an invoice is generated, it's going to start with this prefix. So in this case, we'll remove the hashtag and we'll just say invoice or we can put the whole word or something else. You can say a receipt or anything that you want. In this case, we'll leave it like this invoice. That would be the abbreviation. And do you want to use sequential numbers or random values? For example, we'll use a sequential number. That means it's going to start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just go from there. Do we want it to start from zero or do we want to start it from another number? Why could this be potentially important? For example, let's just say you don't want to start from zero because it might look bad with the client. Hey, it's, order number one that could look pretty bad. So you maybe you want to start it by 1000. So the order was, will start at 1001, or maybe you come from another software that you're selling something and your invoice number is 1345. So the next invoice is going to be 1346. It's just an example number of digits. So in this case four, that would be the thousands. And if you want to duplicate field, okay. We're good to go. Um, this invoice section won't be visible to the end user. So don't worry about that. Okay. Let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go into publish, open in a new tab and let's go ahead and test it. So in this case, put my name, the product is selected by default. Remember we made it required. So basically it's already selected and this product is free. So it won't have to go through a payment gateway and let's go ahead and add our email and submit. Okay. There we go. The order has been created and we should receive that invoice at our email. So let's go check it out. Okay. We just received our email right here with our invoice attached. 
Here's the information from the form. So the name, the product that was ordered, the invoice number, remember it was 1,345. Well, the invoice now is 1,346. So it goes to the next number. It jumps one, two, three, four, five, like that. And here is the invoice attached. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the invoice, here's our logo, here's our information for the company, the address, the email, the phone number, the information for the order. In this case, it was a total of zero. It was a tablet, amount zero because it was free. The information, the 30 day, oh, I had a date instead of day. So 30 day refund policy and thank you, okay? So that is how you generate the invoice. Now, if we want to customize, customize how this email actually look, we can do it over here. So let's go into our form builder. Let's go into our settings, emails, our notification, no, our autoresponder email. Let's go ahead and edit. And this is where we can edit to customize it. For example, we say we have received your response for form title. So we have received your order in this case from form title. In this case, the title would be, for example, sales form. So this variable will be changed to sales form in case you don't want to use a variable or you want to use a variable for a name that is also possible so it's going to be the title we're going to dash right there and we can use one of the variables that we already have in the form so it could be the form title the edit link the ip address the name for example we can add the name of the person or we can add my product so it's going to see it's going to say we receive we have received your order from sales form dash my product which would be the variable from the product that was ordered in this case it would be a tablet so you would put that in the subtitle and we can edit the content also for example we have a job form field right there we can delete it we can use the form title also or we can add our own for example we could say order form and we have the information here like name products and all that good stuff so we can edit all of that and we can change also the recipients we can change the sender name to customize it even further. For example, we can say the sender, sender name was John Doe and the reply to email can be different from the one you have right here. And the recipient email can also be changed. We also have the advanced settings if we want to customize it even further. And we have PDF attachment on since we want the invoice to arrive as a PDF. And we can also password protect the PDF with a specific password if that's something that you want to add so if we enable this we can add a password right here and we can send it out to only the people who we want them to open the invoice just in case you want to enable pdf password well that is how you create an invoice from an order form we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials